Hey everyone, this is Joy Paris with RichGoNetwork.tv. We are at the beautiful Brownstone Cafe restaurant on Pico Boulevard in Los Angeles to cover season three of Justice with Judge Maybelline. I've always said that my job is not just to entertain, but to educate, to stimulate, and to motivate. I want to motivate young people and others to achieve their dreams. I want to stimulate thought and action. I want to educate in the areas of the law as well as character building and all of those different things about how you take care of business and all of that. So I think that my job is not just to entertain. Well, I have what I call the four P's for success, and they start with, well, it's really five now, prayer, plan, prepare, pursue, persevere. That's it. And never give up on your dream. Show and time so we all know when to tune in. Okay. Justice with Judge Maybelline is syndicated nationwide in the Los Angeles area. You can see it on KDOC, Monday through Fridays. Outside of Los Angeles County, I need you to check your local listings for days and times and channels. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Your everyday life with all of your obligations, being a mother, sister, grandmother, aunt, boss, boss, woman. How do I balance my life? Well, as I tell anyone, um, you have to set boundaries and you have to plan your life, your daily life, and you have to prioritize. So I learned a long time ago because I came from a father and a mother where my, our lives were about. <laughs> we had to do things decent and in order. There was order in our house. You know, you had to get up at a certain time, you had to be breakfast at a certain time, you had to be out of the house at a certain time for school, you had to be back in the house at a certain time after school, we ate dinner at a certain time, we prayed at a certain time of night, and we went to bed at a certain time of night. We had chores, and we knew when we had to wash dishes, we knew when we had to do the laundry, we knew when we had to take them off the line, we knew when we had to fold them up. <laughs> I mean, my life has always been balanced uh, because we had things we had to do in a particular order, in a particular manner. So as I grew up, it was very easy for me to continue that path. Um, the way I balance is prioritize, and first of all, uh, God is priority in my life. My family is number one. Anybody who knows me knows that my family is important to me and don't mess with me when it comes out of my family. Uh, and number two is God is important in my life. He is ahead of my life and he leads me the rest. So I take my time for prayer. I take my time to read my scripture daily. Uh, and I get myself ready to do what I have to do. At night, what I, that's why I didn't get here today because I didn't do what I normally do. I usually lay my clothes out. If I have to go somewhere, I lay my clothes out the night before, everything. I lay out the dress, the shoes, the purse, the earrings, everything. I lay it all out, usually the night before. But last night, I didn't do it. I got off course. And so when you get off course, it always makes you a little bit later than what you planned. So that's important. Um, I said, what, what time do you have to, you know, I give myself time to get up. Time to eat, time to drink a cup of coffee, time to sit on the toilet and just think, time to drive. Uh, I say it's time to sit on the toilet and think. Time to drive. But we people don't think about it. You gotta do driving time, you gotta do parking time, you gotta do walking time to the venue. And now that I don't walk as fast, that's a little bit more time to take to walk to the venue. Uh, and whatever you have to do, so that's what I do. In terms of, I set boundaries. As I say, my children, my family comes first. Now I have to do motherhood as much because all of them are adults and they are all out of the house and on their own. Unlike that case, they not living in my house, can't be no rent. I won't rent for them from them. I want to pay somebody else to buy a house. Um, so that's good. The grandchildren, I always take the position of you come, I come get you when I want you. You come over to my house. I want you to come over to my house. I am not going back into motherhood with grandchildren. I'm going to do that. Um, I see them when I get ready. Uh, I go on vacations and I go away whenever I feel like it. And nobody dictates that to me but my pocketbook, what I can afford. Um, and I do for people what I can, what I want to, 
uh, in the manner I want to. I don't do anything to hurt me. So when I give, I give cheerfully. I give willingly. I don't feel obligated. If you ask me for something and I say no, I don't have a problem saying no, and I don't have a problem saying yes. So I set boundaries. I set boundaries and I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm willing to do, what I'm not willing to do. And I, you know, I evaluate, I analyze, and I figure out whatever it is that I have to do before I do it. Before I say yes to you, when you ask me to do something, it's like, when is that? What does that take out of my life? I think it through before I give you a commitment because once I give you that commitment, I'm kind of going to do it. So I think all everything through and what it requires of me before I say yes as well as before I say no. All right. This may be, to me, one of the most outrageous cases was a woman and man were married. This is on the post board now. And he liked what he saw in Judge McLean. <laughs> she said one of my most outrageous cases. Look at that. This my this my favorite thing. She said, I mean I let people control it. You tell me what to do. You know, they can give me suggestions. Um, and sometimes employees don't understand that they can do suggestions. They can give you ideas. They can do things for you, but they cannot dictate to you. that his wife dress up like me. <laughs> Put on a robe to have sex with him. He wanted her to wear her makeup, her red lipstick like Judge McLean, wear your red nails like Judge McLean. She had to go get a wig and a short style like Judge McLean. And that's why he wanted her to come and, and I was like, and you did? I said, you stupid. Come on, be yourself. I'm not going to play. Yeah, you wanted her to role play. Yeah, role play is, it had to obviously be his, his dream and his fantasy of having sex with me because he wasn't having it. So he wanted her to role play his fantasy. I was like, wow. Yourself. You go to court and you're happy with the judge's decision. Nobody is usually happy. I mean, you may accept it and you feel a little better by it, but we, it's not our job to try to make you happy. I can care less if we have it. Uh, my job is to apply the law to the facts. So sometimes, um, so that's what I do. I just use that. Sometimes I'm off point and I, people disagree. Um, I don't think I'm off point in terms of the law because I know the law pretty well that, I, that I'm applying when I do it. Uh, what law I don't know, I go look it up. As I said before, I do it because they give me uh, this, the cases before and the argument of the people and what their concern is. And then I, so I do some preparation. Um, and that's how I do it. I'm a lawyer. I, I mean, I'm educated. Okay. This ain't, I'm not playing. I, I have experience. I have knowledge. I have skill. I went to school for this. You know I'm like, this is not TV. I know, I know this for real. 38, 39 years this year. Oh, wow. And aren't you happy? Yeah. <laughs> this is a question I have. Um, are there ever any questions or any cases that stick with you after, you know, that you can't forget about? And if so, how do you handle that? There are some cases that, that stick with me. Um, I remember was one where the young, the daughter was more of uh, no, this is the case where the mother had died, and the, this is justice with Judge Maybelline. The mother had died, and the aunt raised the little girl. And then when she got ready to go to college, during, during the time, she got her at about eight. Aunt was having hard times because she had two other children too. She was here from Jamaica, and life got a little hard. 
So in that interim, she did something wrong. She broke the law. She used her niece's social security number and got the light bills in her niece's name using her social security number because by then her credit was dead. So she had to have some lunch. So that's what she thought of. So now when the niece gets to college and she's trying to get an apartment, her credit is bad. She's like, my credit is bad. I've never had any. So it turned out that her aunt had used her credit and had not paid the bills, so therefore she had bad credit. So now the niece is all upset with the aunt. She's calling her names and she wants to disrespect her and she's just like really having a hard time with the issue. And I didn't like the way the niece dealt with the aunt, nor did I like the way the aunt dealt with the niece. So that kind of stuck with me. So did everybody tweet and and post and do everything you're supposed to do to get to get the word out that I'm home and I'm here. And don't stop doing that because I need your support continuously. Uh, and I appreciate all of you for coming out this morning on, uh, some of you came from far, Calabasas and all these places. I don't know if I would have done that. Done that. I appreciate all, all of you. I really do. Um, I want you to know about my foundation. And I'm surprised, so I have to do this. They usually do. I have a nonprofit foundation, Make Me Need Foundation. We give an annual event honoring unsung fathers on Father's Day each year. This next year it'll be in the city of Long Beach at the Hilton Hotel. It's our 15th anniversary. I hope that everybody has signed something today. I'm sure they have all of your contact information. You don't? This lady shaking her head. Okay, I want everybody to leave us your contact information so we can make sure to contact you. And we'll put it in your calendar, June 18, 2017. Tickets are going to go on sale in the next month. As a matter of fact, we're going to set it all up and start ticket sales early.